Three defendants have pled guilty to conspiracy, all tied to federal cases against the Kay Alohas. Some legal experts say it's a troubling trend for the former police chief and his deputy prosecutor wife. Manola Morales follows up. Manola? Joe, you know, I spoke with the attorney Michael Green, who is representing one of the defendants. He says with each plea deal, the case against Catherine and Louis K. Aloha gets stronger. Hawaii County firefighter Jesse Ebersole pled guilty yesterday to lying to the grand jury about having an affair with Catherine K. Aloha. As part of his plea deal, he agrees to testify at any and all trials at which the prosecution requests him to testify. Prosecutors say she spent more than $20,000 on him, including issuing him a cashier's check for nearly $1,400 for a no-show job, a job he never showed up for, under her alias, Allison Lee Wong. The courts will give him substantial help in cooperation if he does the right thing, and he's taken the first step towards rehabilitation by accepting responsibility. Green represents Ranson Taito, who pled guilty to conspiracy in January. Prosecutors say Catherine K. Law was in charge of more than $167,000 set aside for Taito and his sister. Taito says she told him to tell the grand jury that he and his sister already got the money. This is contrived <coughs> stuff. This is, this is thought out to the point of where she sets up ways to cover up. You know, signing documents, different color ink, meeting them at restaurants to say this. The first defendant to make a plea agreement was former HPD officer Niall Silva in 2006. As part of the deal, Silva implicated other police officers in a conspiracy to frame Gerard Puana, Catherine Kaloha's uncle, for the theft of the Kaloha's mailbox. With the prosecution's case getting stronger, Green says it would make sense for Louis Kaloha to also strike a plea deal for himself. The obvious defense is, I had no idea this was going on. I mean, I would not be doing this if I think she shacked up with some guy, you know, while I'm down at the, you know, the police department being the chief of police. Sentencing for all three defendants is on hold until after the trials for the Kealohas are resolved. Joe. Thanks, Manila.